it's nice to reach the destination in a sense. And uh, I feel like I've done myself fairly the last few years in doing what I wanted to do. Um, so yeah, I feel really comfortable uh, approaching the challenge. My name is Nils van der Poel. I'm a Swedish speed skater. I try not to strive for winning. I strive for racing as fast as I can. I believe that's rather the true purpose of the racing, enhancing yourself, performing better. Because I really believe that's, that's your task as a human being. You take you and you improve that. And that's very easy to conceptualize as winning as the purpose, but that's not really the purpose. I was pretty talented as a kid, whatever I did. My speed skating was really hard, and I was not really good at it. So I think that's what got me going. Ready. When I was a kid, it was really hard for me to compete. I was very anxious, very nervous. But as I grew up, I, I did it a lot more often. And I think what really helped me understand how to compete was when I started to train very similar to my competitions. So we constructed training sessions that made it feel like every day was a race day. When you win and you really did not expect it, it's just, you know, you're just flourishing with joy. <laughs> and, and my first world title was like that. Eat fish for dinner, guys. I won the Junior World Championships when I was 17. Still today, it was the best experience of my life. And then I won it again, and I was just relieved that I won it. And that really made it clear to me that winning or succeeding is like subject to experience. So after that, I quit. And as I got back to it, I went to the Olympics in 2018, and I got sick prior to 10K qualification, so I missed it. And as I decided to go for the 2022 Olympics in China, the first thing I set out to do was making sure if this happens again, if I get sick qualifying, if I don't even make it to competition, if I break a leg, I still want to be able to evaluate the past few years as a success based on the journey it's been and not the destination it's reached. And when you read a book, you do not skip to the last chapter and read the end because you don't really care about the end if you don't have the story, right? But in the media and in the public, what the sport displays is only the last 10 pages of the book. And that is not the story. So I always liked competing in the Netherlands. Well, I got the last name, so... It always feels like the crowd is shame for me. It might be that they're shame for my competitor, but I always pretend they're shame for me. So I always felt like that connection to the Netherlands. And also with OG, to have the, you know, the big base in the Netherlands, but also launching in Sweden now, it's, it's such a... You know, it's such a great coincidence, and it feels so natural to be a part of it. Yeah, so I for sure try to bike as much as possible. And that's very dependable if I have a rest day or if I have a training day. Because if I have a training day, like, I'm so lazy and I always take the car. But when I need it, it's green. So that's a good thing about it. Um, but yeah, when I have the energy, I always try to bike. But not only for the environment, because also I feel better reaching my destination as I bike there. Every generation has their problems. That's, that's how it is, that's how it's always been. And the problems we have today, they're not as terrible as the problems we had 50 years ago. But that doesn't mean that they're not critical. Quite the opposite. I have quite a lot of faith in humanity. I believe in us a lot. And I think we can do great things. And now it's time to do great things. And I think we can do that. I mean, we all have the capacity for evil and we all have the capacity for good. And I really admire the choices that makes us good. And I try to, yeah, try to reach up to that. Can you have a motivational quote for them? <laughs> well, yeah, as I said before, I heard this once. Uh, if you're not riding your bike every day, something's seriously wrong with your life and you need to consider that. And I kind of like that.